It is October 7th, 2013, and uh, I'm finishing uploading a video for y'all, which is Rip Responsibilities episode 30. So I th I'm not sure I'm going to entitle this one, but uh, yeah, Rip Responsibilities episode 30. Um, we hit a new low weighing today, so we weighed in at 158.0, which is pretty freaking awesome. 158.0. Um, so yeah. Just letting y'all know. Gonna eat soon and uh, finish doing some work up here. What's going on YouTube? It is October 8th, 2013. We're about to have ourselves some breakfast and uh, I'm feeling really like cold. My ears are cold, my whole body's like cold. So I'm wearing slippers and got my jacket on and stuff. Half jacket. <laughs> but um, we are about to eat breakfast. So I'll show you what I have. Now we're going to the gym in probably like two and a half hours or so. So uh, it's a big meal, so beware. First thing is we have one entire container of egg beaters, as you guys already know. Egg beaters are my staple in my diet, <laughs> and um, mainly because they're pretty high volume. So we have egg beaters with some zucchini, some onion, and a little bit of tomato. We have four slices of Sara Lee bread with some butter spray on it. I toasted these, so I'm gonna throw the eggs on here. But before I throw the eggs on here, I have my jelly over here. This is sugar-free fiber jelly. So honestly, guys, I'm gonna have to stay away from the fiber um, for the rest of the day pretty much because there's 12 grams of fiber in here. There's like, I think, eight grams in the bread. Then there's like, obviously the zucchini, and that's yeah, a lot of fiber this meal. But uh, we also have three rice cakes and one Nature Valley sweet and salty almond bar. These are so delicious, guys. So this is really just to get a little bit of fat in my diet, um, or in this meal at least, because I didn't make oatmeal. So if I would have made oatmeal, I would have added some peanut butter for some fats, but I didn't make oatmeal. So this is breakfast in a tall glass of H2O. Um, I'm going to eat this, and this is going to give me the fuel I need to go hit the gym today. It's going to be chest and shoulder, chest and tricep. I don't know yet. I'm still deciding. I'm still tweaking that split, guys. Um, I ran into some problems with that split, so I'm not going to share it with y'all yet until I finalize it. But uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm very hungry, so I'm going to get to eating. For those of you interested, this whole meal has 9 fat, 129 carb, 27 fiber, and 70 protein. So that is that. Got to get some more fat in the diet. Alright YouTube, it is currently 321. We're about to head into the gym real quick. Uh, I like to talk to you guys before I go into the gym. I get, I get kind of motivated, you know, because I just get to talk. And yeah, so got our sweater on, feeling nice and warm. Um, like I said, I was, I was kind of cold this morning, so going to be sure I stay warm in the gym. The fans are huge and they're, they get you pretty cold. I want to show you guys a real quick before and after picture. If you're not following me on Instagram, go do it. I definitely recommend it. That's where I post almost all of that. Well, actually, yeah, all of my social media. Um, so yeah, here we go. The picture, the before picture is 2010, okay? I was about 140 pounds, and the after pictures were this past July, so the end of summer shredding. Here we go. That right there is me. You can see my toothpick arm. Skinny, skinny, skinny. Now I was the exact same height in both of these photos, or all three of these photos. Before, playing the guitar, that was actually an Epiphone, not a Gibson, so if you guys are wondering. Um, it wasn't mine, it was my friend's. And here are the afters. This photo was taken the day of my cover shoot, the morning of, no pump or anything, but um, yeah, definitely pretty ripped. And this photo was taken with a pump at like 1 a.m. That's actually from my arm assault workout. So you can see the huge difference right there. So. I was definitely an ectomorph, guys. I still am an ectomorph. I mean, if you look at my like body composition, I'm very small as far as like ankles and uh, wrists, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, my waist, I wear a size 29 pant um, at six foot tall. So I definitely have a kind of weird body structure. I mean, all my shirts, you guys ask me all the time, what size gym shark do you wear? I'm a large. Right, just because I have a pretty wide chest and then I'm tall, so I need the length of the shirt. So I'm a large shirt, small underwear because my waist is so small, and then medium pants because my legs are long. So um, yeah, 
that's just my weird measurements. But um, I transformed big time, guys. I mean, you see the photos, like, that's a big transformation. Um, about three and a half years there, 2010 over here, and then 2013, and it can be done, you know? Let me read this, my caption to you all, maybe kind of motivate some of y'all. Um, the photo on the left was taken in early 2010. Both photos on the right were shot mid-July, the same week that I shot my first magazine cover. The body you dream of is obtainable, but it's your responsibility to have the belief in yourself to begin your journey. You will always have society telling you what you're doing is a waste of time, stupid, unrealistic, immature. But ultimately, if you truly believe that you can reach your goal, no matter how crazy it may sound, if you devote 110% of your effort, you will reach that goal. So that was my little rant on that photo. But um, like I said, guys, you can do it. You just have to set your mind to it and you have to believe that you can do it. If you don't believe you can do it, there's no way in a million years it's ever gonna happen. All right, family, so we're gonna go ahead and commentate over this push workout. It was filmed on October 8th, 2013. And uh, I get a lot of questions on how I like to warm up my bench press to go to my max effort sets. And this is how I do it. I usually do uh, about two sets with the just the bar, then I'll do 135 for about five, and then I'll go 185 for about three, and then you'll see next, I depending on what I'm doing, I'll do 225 for a single or for three. When I'm cutting, usually it's a single because I don't have that much energy, so I really want to save it for my big working compound set, but here I just do a single. And last week, guys, I got four reps, or last uh, chest, whatever, uh, session, I got four reps for 255, and I was honestly pretty set on trying to get five, but like I said, um, the diet is kind of kicking my butt, the cardio is kicking my butt as far as just like my strength goes, so it's kind of hard to be gaining strength right now. There you saw four good reps, so I matched the same as last week uh, without a spot or anything, so not bad holding on to that strength, and yeah, here you can see uh, I only got four on that 255, so I dropped the weight, and I think I got six. And then I did about three sets with, it was like, what, 165 or 170 pounds for about 10 to 12 reps. So I like to do a few heavy sets and then go into my uh, hypertrophy sets or my uh, muscle growing sets, you know, a little bit higher rep range. So here we are doing some uh, military press. So the front delts were pretty smoked after all that bench. We probably did about six or seven sets. And um, here we did about th four sets, I believe. Just, what is it, 95 pounds? Just 95 pounds. Um, I can't wait guys to, when I start this little reverse diet slash lean bulk after this show to um, really work on my strength. I want to get strong as, you know, just strong. <laughs> um, here doing some curls. So what I did today is I actually worked chest, bicep, and shoulder. Well, as far as shoulder, front, and medial delt. So um, that's what I did. And like I said, I'm still tweaking this split to really find out what I want to show you guys and after I finalize it. I realized with the last split, uh, too many secondary muscle groups were sore um, trying to hit the other muscle groups, the primary muscle groups, so I had to kind of bail on that split, so I'm trying to tweak it and make a new one for y'all. I was actually doing, um, I guess, like drop sets here, just supersetting with the same exercise, just lighter weight. I went about pretty heavy on the curls, uh, 80 is heavy for me, especially after the first two or three exercises. Um, about eight to 10. And then I went like 15, 12 to 15 with a, well, I don't know what it was, a 30 or 40 pound barbell. I was trying to grab them. I don't really look at the weight. I don't really care as long as my biceps are feeling it. And I have a great mind muscle connection with, what is it? It's a 30. It's a 30. That's kind of embarrassing, <laughs> but, um, I'm just kidding guys. Rocking my gym shark right there. You can see the chest striations coming in. Got about, uh, four pounds, four or five more pounds. I weighed in 158 points for this morning. So I'm looking to break a new low weigh-in tomorrow. And you can definitely see all the veins coming out and everything. Now keep in mind, guys, this isn't the best lighted gym. So I'm sure if I had some better lighting, I'd look a lot more ripped and big and stuff. But um, this is it. This is just kind of the, the gym right here. But I want to thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys are interested in online personal training, uh, I have a lot, a lot of satisfied clients and I want to help you guys. So go ahead and email me at christianusedonfitness at yahoo.com and you can hire me as your online personal trainer. I'll work with you until you get your results or your money back. So I'm that confident in my plans and yeah guys, be sure to uh, subscribe, follow me on all the social media and stay safe.